Hi there and welcome back to Japan where we're continuing our review of, our listen through should I say, of World Domination by Bandmade. I know this, this camera's got a really short field of focus which looks cool but it also means if I hold things up to the camera they get all weird and blurry or I take them back and I get weird and blurry. It's all confusing. Anyway, we just listened to Clang. Um, feel free if you're just tuning in at this point, feel free to go back. We've checked out the whole album up to this point and a few songs ahead, actually the singles like Daydreaming and Dice are already on there. And maybe by the time you listen to this, I've uploaded everything anyway, so you can skip forwards. Who knows where you want to go? The main thing is we're on the track Turn Me On, which is track nine from World Domination. That's the one we're going to be listening to now. I'm going into my radio voice. This is music for the radio. I accidentally started the song before I should have done. Um, so anyway... <laughs> All I know is it starts with a loud guitar punch. This has turned me on. Um, I uh, like to say this album's been pretty much full on hard going all the way through so far, but they've managed to do that thing that band may do, even though they do have a little bit of a stylistic formula to how they construct their songs. There are some songs on here that really buck that trend, and for the best part, the ones that do follow their stylistic thing of you know, intro, verse, pre chorus, chorus, slightly different verse, pre chorus, chorus, quiet bit with bass solo, guitar solo, bigger chorus at the end. Even when they do that, they still manage to find ways to make each song sound interesting and individual. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to be jumping in with Turn Me On Now. I'm going to stop waffling. Here we go. It's just sounding like some biker rock motorhead stuff at the moment. I love the big melodic pre-chorus. Another great hook. I love the fact that even a lot of their album tracks have really good hooks. This one has that sort of more riff based, old school, hard riff rock thing that was more common in their older songs. You know, kind of reminds you of stuff like Thrill. Second verse, rhythm change of course. Yeah, it's a real neck breaker this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the kind of solo I like. Really works in the... Brings the song together rather than just twiddling off on its own. It holds the backing together and makes that section awesome. But 
great how we got another another time to listen to this chorus again. It's a great hook. Yeah, it's an adventure into that sort of old school rock sound that it reminds me, like I say, a little bit of things like Frill, like some of the older stuff that was not written by them, actually. Um, I think Frill was one of the songs that was written for them rather than by them. But yeah, that, that was that was really enjoyable. In um, I, don't, I don't know how much re-listen value it has because it does keep on coming back to the riff thing and the riff is awesome, but because it's like four minutes and it's very riff based, it's probably one of those songs where I wouldn't be able to listen to it back to back over and over again, but it's one of those ones where definitely when it comes on the album, you're gonna be like, yeah, this one's awesome, this one really rocks. And it just kind of doesn't outstay its welcome, hits about the right point and ends. Um, the energy's fantastic. It's like I say, it's a real headbanger, net breaking one. So, you know, it's again, I think you probably need to, have a rest between each time you listen to it as well. Uh, melody was good, uh, nothing too spectacular going on there, but that was cool. Um, the main thing was the guitar work, guitar work was fantastic. Um, really, like I say, really solid riff. The solo I really liked because, like I say, some solos they go off in a melodic way, which is nice. Some just twiddle all over the place, which I find really annoying. This one kind of just stuck to repeating like little phrases, like that sort of thing. And it, as a result, it almost wasn't really a solo. It was almost just like a very quick harmony to the backing. Um, and that was really nice because it, it just made that everything sound sort of nice and fleshed out um, before the last chorus. And yeah, it was just a good on the instrumental level. The, like I said, the melody was pretty decent. You know, the hook was definitely enjoyable, very simple, but you know, really sort of catchy. Uh, like I said, I don't think this song has massive replay value. I think that it kind of, um, it, its tricks are relatively simple. Like I say, a simple hook, a simple riff, a simple beat. It's not really playing with anything particularly clever there, although it's got all those usual details, touches, and intricacies that you'd expect from Bandmade. But, um, like I say, I, I think this is a good example of a good album track. It's one that every time it comes around, I already said this, but just to repeat the point, every time it comes around you'd be happy, but I don't know if you'd necessarily go and seek this song out on its own. So, yeah, another fantastic track. Really looking forward to the next one, which will be Carry On Living. And that's an interesting name for a song. I'm going to be really interested to see how Carry On Living goes. Anyway, for now, feel free to get in the comments, tell me what you think. I've had some fantastic comments during listen through to this album in particular. Um, well, always, actually, but in this album, we've had some really great uh, comments on what people think of all the individual songs. This is one of the interesting things about listening to the album tracks and going into the... Uh, you know, the studio recordings, is you get to really dissect the songs in a lot of details and the sort of creative process with you guys. So really enjoying going through this and there will be more and hopefully, <laughs> never know, maybe I'll buy all of the band made albums eventually and we'll do this over and over again for millions of tracks. Who knows, they've got a lot of songs and a lot of CDs. But for now, get in the comments, tell me what you think. Obviously you can listen to the other band made videos that we've done, the other videos we've done of other songs, the other songs in this particular album that we've covered. Or, you know, you can watch uh, video tutorials on how to make the world's biggest sandwich. And there's like this guy who like just makes like really big food and he eats it. And I always think, you know, it's kind of looks cool, but I bet he's going to like die of diabetes or something. And, you know, it's just not really good for your veins to have them all clogged up with bacon all the time. Um, yeah. Whatever takes you fancy. But for now, from Japan... I'll be on the next song soon, but ciao.